In this video, we're gonna look at food tracking and how you can use the food tracking to look at why you eat, uh, and as a consequence of that, you can look at the reasons why you might eat poorly. From this, you can spot poor food patterns and therefore look to put a really positive strategy in place to correct them. In the last video, we talked about what constitutes a green meal, an amber meal, and a red meal in terms of bringing you closer to your goals, not bringing you closer, but not taking you any further away and taking you further away from your goals. In this one, we're gonna look at the food diary and the food tracking in a little bit more detail. You can see uh, that with every meal, we've got a little key uh, with a letter. They are the letters P, H, E, A, D, and Q. P stands for a planned meal. H means you ate because you were hungry, but not according to the plan. E means you ate emotionally, perhaps after a stressful day. This is common and you are more likely to drink alcohol or eat comfort foods like chocolate. Remember to score any meal with alcohol as red. A means that you ate on autopilot, so you didn't even recognise that you were making a food choice. The long term goal is to eat as many green meals on autopilot as possible. Now let me repeat that because it's really, really important. The long term goal is to eat as many green meals on autopilot as possible. When you can get to 15 green autopilot meals, say for example every breakfast, uh, except Saturday, every lunch except one, and then three evening meals, you will have established a foolproof long-term food routine which maintains your weight, gives you food for energy and health. D means you've dined out in a pub or a restaurant or at a friend's house. This can often lead to red meals, so you need to be aware and make conscious food choices. You can't eat out three times a week and eat whatever you want. Two of those experiences need to have green meals and you need to plan for this, which takes discipline. Q means you purchased something already prepared and ate it straight away for lunch or dinner, for example, a pret salad. Okay, let's go into the sheet and have a look at one of mine that's been completed. For now, we'll just concentrate on breakfast or meal one. We can see that on Monday I've eaten scrambled eggs and avocado. We can see that it was eaten on autopilot and we can see that it's a green meal. Brilliant. That is exactly the sort of example we're looking for in the long term. See how many meals that you can eat on autopilot that are green. Now breakfast has become really easy for me because I've accepted I'm going to eat a breakfast that's healthy for me. Um, when my um, mood and when my resolve is strong at the start of the day. Uh, I can eat eggs all the time and although it's not my preferred choice every single day, I'd like to have a bit more variety. I know that my body's starved of nutrients overnight, so I'm burning fat. So what I do is I give it lots of proteins and lots of healthy fats. So it continues to burn fats all morning long. So eggs or smoothies are common for me and seven days um, out, of the t out of the week I have a green breakfast. So I'm well on my target of 15 green meals. It's really easy with the green meals. All you've got to do is find that formula and repeat it. It's the amber and the red meals you really need to focus on to see how you can turn them into green. So if you realise that every Wednesday or Friday and Saturday you're eating red meals and you're eating quite emotionally, we're going to pick one meal and we're going to put a strategy in place um, to go all out and making that red meal green. All right, take time to buy some food, to cook it, get some non-alcoholic beer or non-alcoholic wine and make a real effort to change that one red into one green meal for the next week. When you get up the following morning, the momentum that you will feel from overcoming an emotional eating pattern will make it easy to repeat with another meal the following week. This is how you will build momentum and correct poor eating patterns. One meal at a time until you find a formula of green, amber and red meals that support your goals.